Hey girls, this is Miss Gasparini with another video for my lovely first grade mathematicians. Today, we're going to practice what we learned. In the last few videos, we've talked a lot about how you need to make sure when you're adding a two digit number to another number, you add your ones to your ones and your tens to your tens, and you don't confuse things. So, I thought it would be nice if we went through a couple examples today. Our first example is going to involve the two numbers that I'm representing with these pictures. Who can tell me what number I'm representing with my orange picture? That's right, I'm representing the number 15 with my orange picture because I have one ten and five ones. And what number am I representing with my blue picture? That's right, I'm representing three, because I just have three ones. So my addition problem is going to be 15 plus three. So we've been practicing using a number bond to break apart the tens and ones of a two digit number. And we're gonna do the same thing here. In 15, I have one 10 and five ones. So my two parts are 10, because I have one 10, and five, because I have five ones. I'm adding 15 to three, and three is just three ones. So should I be adding five and three, or 10 and three first? That's right, I should be adding five and three, because I have five ones and three ones. I need to add my ones together. So my first addition sentence is going to be five plus three. So now we need to add five plus three together. Ready to count? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many ones do I have all together? I have eight ones. That's right. So I've added my ones together. I have eight ones. Now I need to include my 10. So my next number sentence is going to be 10 plus eight. What is 10 plus eight? That's right, 10 plus eight equals 18. So I've added my ones together and I put in my 10. What is 15 plus three? That's right, 15 plus three is 18. I still have one 10, but I have eight ones. So 15 plus three equals 18. You guys did really well with that. Let's do another one. This one's going to be a little different. We're going to be adding tens this time. And I already set it up for us. Our question is 13 plus 20. And we're going to do the same thing with our problem here, like we did in our last problem. We're going to make a number bond. We're going to make it for 13 because 13 has tens and ones. My computer's being a little silly. Bear with me for a moment. Here we go. So in 13, I have one 10. So my first part is just 10. And I have three ones. So my second part is three. So I'm adding 13 plus 20. So should I be adding three to 20? Adding my ones to my tens? Or should I be adding 10 to 20? Adding my tens to my tens. Yeah, this time, instead of adding ones to ones, I'm adding a 10 to tens. So let's set this up. I have one 10 here and two tens here. I have 10 plus 20. What's 10 plus 20? 
Yeah, 10 plus 20 is 30. I have one, two, three tens. So 10 plus 20 equals 30. I've taken care of my tens. Now I need to take care of my ones. My next number sentence is going to be 30 plus 3. What is 30 plus 3? That's right. 30 plus 3 equals 33. So I've added my tens together, and then I've included my ones. So what's 13 plus 20? That's right. 13 plus 20 equals 33. You might be saying, wow, Miss Gasparini, that was a lot different from our last one. And it was. It's because we added tens to tens instead of ones to ones like we did last time. But it's important we remember that for tens too. If I'm adding tens to my two digit number, I need to make sure I'm adding my tens to my tens before I include my ones. Let's do one more problem. So I have my two numbers here. I have my pink picture and my yellow picture. What number does my pink picture represent? Yep, it represents 20. I have two tens, so my first number is 20. And how much does this yellow picture represent? You're right, it represents 16. I have one ten and six ones, so I have 16. So my question is going to be 16 plus 20. And you know what? I don't even need to set up a number bond with this. I think I'm on a roll. Let's just count this together, okay? So I have 16. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 16 plus 20 equals nine. What? No, that's correct. Well, I had my six, and then I put my three, so it's nine. Oh, oh, you're saying I added my tens to my, oh, I did that incorrect. Well, let's try that again. So what's a step I should take maybe that I skipped before? Because I think I got a little excited. I should make my number bond. Okay, so I'm going to make that with 16 because that has tens and ones. Okay, let's see. So it's 10 because I have one 10 and 6 because I have six ones. And then I add the 6 to 20, right? No? Oh, my goodness. What do I add? Oh, because the 20 is two tenths, I need to add the 10 to 20. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and do that then, I guess. What is 10 plus 20? 30? Okay, 10 plus 20 equals 30. Now what do I do? Am I done? Oh, I need to add the ones. Okay, let's see. I have... Six ones. So 30 plus 6. What is 30 plus 6? It's 36. All right. Well, 30 plus 6 equals 36. So I guess 16 plus 20 equals 36 too, right? All right. Thank you for helping me with that. We're going to keep practicing this next week, but you guys have been amazing and you've been working so hard. I love you, and I hope you have a really nice long weekend. I'll let you go now. Bye-bye.